So as you saw in the last few videos, this is all part of the one large episode that I'm breaking up into smaller parts. So welcome back. All right, it is day the next and I've been doing some thunking. First thunk is that this project's taking me way longer than it should and I don't know why. I wanted to mention this because one of the whole points of this channel has been to show the realities of doing a big project. And I think, I think I'm in a funk. And I think this is normal for big projects. I was so focused on getting that big bank of six 48 volt batteries built that I got them built and now I'm ready to move on to my next task. And I just kind of feel like I completely ran out of steam. I need to figure out how to push through that. I've been really struggling to get this done. That said, one of the things I was thinking is that this thing that I'm doing here, I, it's not going to work. And the reason it's not going to work is because I was thinking about the assembly of these things on the bench. These have to go to where my black water tank was. The black water tank, well, the black water tank's gone, so now it's just the area under my nav seat. It's an open space. I need to have a platform in there to put these batteries, and these batteries have to be in box have to be in boxes. I, I'm already out of time. If I don't have enough ring terminals, I can't get the parts in time. Well, maybe I can. <sighs> it's really tight. I need to run the negative cables. So the positive cables, I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna take these Anderson connectors off and I have to run a wire up to here. So basically what I think I'm gonna do is have the negative and the positive cables come out of the top of the box and then come down to the two negatives will come to this terminal on the, uh, the smart shunt and the two positives will come to the center bus bar. And then from there, they'll go out to the rest of the boat and the charger will come in and whatnot. <sighs> I haven't made the boxes yet. I haven't even designed the boxes yet. One of the problems I'm going to have to deal with is the fact that I'm going to have this up like this. This cable has to come out along and up here, which actually shouldn't be too big of a deal. And I have a fair bit of cable from what I cut off downstairs. So I'd probably want to do something like that much come out. Maybe I'll want to go to about here give myself some more slack. This is gonna sit in the box under the nav station where the black water tank used to be, probably mounted against one side. These will be in enclosed boxes and somehow mounted and all of it will be secured in there. And then from here, I'll have the two wires coming out. If I have space, I'll also mount the charger in that box. I'm really kind of pushing it for space at that point. Or maybe I have plenty of space. I can't remember right now, but regardless. This has to get sorted out in that box. This has to get into that box. I have lots of 10 gauge wire. So if this has to go somewhere else and I have to run longer wires, I'm not too terribly concerned. 10 gauge, 30 amp, no problem all day long. I just realized this is already the right end for the smart shunt because this is where it went from the bus buyer to the smart shunt originally. So if I take this off, put this here to about here, that should give me a fair bit of slack coming out of here. Okay, so that, going to be that. Probably more than I need, but again, this is my get home solution. Please, people who are seeing this, don't think this is my long-term solution. I know there's nothing more permanent than a temporary solution, but this really is temporary. This is my get home motor. I said get home motor. This is my get home battery. There's the 12 volt negative setup. I got to crimp them, obviously. Ugh, really, 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 really low on black cable. I'm going to have to pick up another roll. I cannot say that I was not warned how expensive boats are. I'm specifically warned repeatedly on how expensive going electric would be. So, you know, if I sound like I'm complaining, I'm not. I got myself into this. I will get myself out of this. All right, so the next thing I need to figure out is the positive cables. Now these positives also need the big round shit. Ah, uh, do I have two? Please tell me I have two left. I mean, I guess in a real pickle, I could drill one of these out, but I do not want to do that. Oh, okay, so I've got one. I just need one more. I just need one more. I don't think I've got one. Shit. Nope, I'm short one. Complaining about parts I don't have solves nothing. Oh, 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 I think I threw one of these downstairs. Be right back. I didn't, but I have a solution. It might be slightly desperate. I'll bring you along. Mind the uh, shite lighting. Oh, do I have one? Not completely shite, just mostly shite lighting. I can steal the, uh, this cable. So where's the negative? This was the cable from the bus bar that I cut. 
I'm gonna cut the positive to about the same length. And that's currently going to here. Actually, holy crap, I could've just saved myself another ring terminal. This is coming off of this, and this is probably about the right length that I want for the positive cable coming off the 12 volt. So I can just steal this. In case you were wondering how serious I was about the 48 volt not coming back online for a while when I started that test, I need to get a socket for that. One positive power cable. You know, I'm gonna cut this short anyway. All right, 48 volt is very definitely offline now, but I have most of my cables now. All right, let's go back upstairs. It's not cannibalism if you're putting the parts to use elsewhere. It's more a form of reincarnation. Right. This is gonna come out, oh gosh. Oh gosh, that's way too long. Whatever, I want all match sizes so that the current draw from them is equal. Not that it really matters. The only high load is gonna be the engine start and that's gonna be for just a fraction of a minute. Close enough. So now I actually have a spare one of these. Wonderful, I have to buy some more. Okay, so I gotta take the Anderson connectors off the back of these. Let's get that done next. And I am gonna put shrink tubing on all these before I'm done because this will go in the boat. Even though not long term, it will go in the boat. Which means I should probably get set up to do that right away. Which means I need to go find where my heat gun got to. I'm not quite sure where it is. Even though I know I'm putting these right back on, I always re-thread the bolts because it's the best way not to lose things. I need to liberate myself from the sweater. Starting to feel the energy come back. This is good. The energy come back as in, when you're doing a big project, like I was saying earlier, you get into these periods feeling like you're really roadblocked and it just, it, it's, it, it's the kind of place where if you're not careful about it, that, that's the death of a project. Ugh, I'm not feeling it. You set it aside, the next thing you know, five years have gone by and your project's completely rotted to shit. Ask me how I know. So one of the things that's really important, especially in a project like this, is when you find yourself in those funks and you just don't want to work, just try to do something. It doesn't matter how small or simple it is. Just even if all you accomplish is putting, like cleaning up your work area or doing something simple like shrink tubing it, just, just get that momentum back going again. What was I doing? Other than spewing philosophical bullshit. Running a bit low on my shrink tubing as well. At least the sizes I use a lot, but that's okay. The risks at this point of fantastical sparks is pretty slow. Pretty slow, pretty low. So I'm gonna turn off the camera so I can listen to some music while I do this, this thing that you've seen me do a hundred other times and not get hit with a copyright strike. So I'll be right back with finished cables. I did a few other things when the camera was off. I have decided to run the shrink tubing on the cables that are gonna come down from the main pack negative. I have also decided that I've also replaced the ring terminals on the positive cable going to the screens to fit onto the main switch. And I'm gonna put it on the input side of the switch. So that way it's well downstream of the fuses, which really now I should probably shrink. Do I wanna shrink these? They're about to go into production. They're about to go in the boat. Hmm. I always like having an ability to go backwards. Once I shrink these, I can't go backwards. I mean, I can, but I'd have to cut all this off. But then I've got spare shrink tubing. Yes, I'm gonna shrink these. That's gonna be long and noisy. I'll be right back again. And the deed is done. So I have everything I need to do assembly and actually get this thing up and running. And I'm again at that stage of a project where I'm unusually or unreasonably or irrationally, there's the better word. I'm irrationally nervous. Oh, what a cluster of wires this is. These are gonna go like the, oh, the screens are in the way. I'm so organized. I'm so organized. So that's gonna go like that. Do I wanna have the screens able to work if the battery is off? Yes, I think I do. So that means I am actually going to run the screen positive to the battery side. So it's gonna work even if I turn the main pack off. Why am I doing this? My thought is I might want to disconnect from the load, but still see what the battery's doing. Now, before I do this, is the switch off? The switch is off, okay. So this is gonna be swinging in the wind and I do not want it energized. I may run the positive to the bus bars so that they're anchored and can't flop in the wind before I even touch the ground. So that's gonna go all over the floor. This is gonna go like that. Okay, but before I connect that, that is off. I'm going to run this to the bus fire. <clears throat> one unga dunga is the right torque. Oh, that's what I dropped on the floor. Where's the other one of these? It's such a great feeling after being, after being stuck in the doldrums of a project where you feel like you just can't make any progress. 
and then suddenly you're making progress again. It feels really good. Where was the other fuse? Hello, fuels. Oh, there you are. This is gonna be a long video. I'm sorry about that. Okay, that's done. Socket on the floor. Hmm. Hmm. There, now that's safe. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Might do that. As a little safety jiggy over this one too. Ah, that makes me feel a lot better. Right, this should have been here and this one should be here. Okay, so I'm gonna switch those over. Can you even see what I'm doing? Hopefully you can. Oh. I also made when the camera was off, the cables to go from the bus bars. Oh, God damn it. Can you see that? So I've got the ring terminals to go onto the bus bar on one side and I've got the fair rules to go into the charger on the other side. So I'm going to wire these in right away as well. Okay, I need to go find a screwdriver that will fit down this hole because it's really deep and it's relatively narrow and I really worry I don't have something that's gonna fit that. All right, I couldn't find really the best screwdriver. This is the best I've got and I'm not gonna be able to get enough torque on that, but that's fine. For the point of making sure all the wires are anchored so that there's no risk of a shock, they will do the job. All right, that is the positive side done. I was thinking I was gonna fire this up today, but realistically that's not gonna happen. So my goal now is to just get everything wired up today. And then tomorrow I'm gonna just have a good night's sleep. And then tomorrow I will come back and sanity check all of my wiring to make sure that everything looks good before I hit the go switch. I can get this on now. I don't know if it matters or not at this point, but I am using, a, can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. I am using a split washer. I'm using a split washer. Okay, so that's connected. That is not connected. I will do that last. That's the power switch for that one. That's the power switch for that one. Let's get the ground wired up. All of this is gonna have to find a way to be stuffed into a box when I head out to the boat. All right. That's connected. These are gonna be the very last things to do. So the last thing is to connect these two. Last thing on the battery side, I still need to finger, finish up the charger side. I can't this over at an angle as quick as I can because it's gonna come up this way. So I got my negative running over here. That goes to here. That is a loose fit because I need to do the other wire now. I really don't like sharing ring terminals of this size on a post this size, but ABYC says it's okay. Uh, Right, in from the two batteries, out to the negative terminal. Okay, yep, that's fine. Okay, I think that is most of it. Let us now hook up the charger. And I am not plugging in the charger at this point. The, the VE Direct is set up, but I'm not gonna connect that until I get this up and running because I, I don't need to have multiple systems coming on at the same time. That's just, yeah. Things are gonna be funny enough as it is. Let's not make our life more complicated. Says the lady with a thousand cables on her system, or on her table. What a clusterfuck this is. No, that's actually, I can get a fair bit of torque on that. That's fairly tight. Okay, this system is built. Okay, is this system built right? I don't know. I know that it is midnight, my local time. I've had a few really busy days at work. I am tired. I have had recent excitement that I would rather not have. What are you doing, cat? Have again. I think I'm gonna stop here for tonight, which won't mean anything to you. It's gonna be a second, but for me, I'm gonna get myself a good night's sleep, and then tomorrow after work, I'm gonna come over and completely review everything I've done here. And if everything looks good, I'll bring the 12 volt bank online. <laughs> I, look, I mean, it's kind of silly to be stressed about a couple of 12 volt batteries after building six 48 volt batteries, I understand, but I am nervous and I mean, make of that what you will. I, I wanna take my time to make sure I get this right. I don't wanna have any more accidents. I'm the Gentleman Maid. Thank you for entertaining me as I experiment with these shorter length videos and I will see you in a couple of days.